Hey, good morning everybody. It's your boy Scrib. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going forward with our Topi Talk series. And the topic for today is the new Tingo Kaiger movie that just released at the time of this recording. I believe it was this past weekend. Um, let me tell you, like, Gokaiger is one of my favorite Sentai's. I will put it at like top five. Um, and it actually was a very, very good 10 year anniversary series or movie. <laughs> but like I can sit and gush about it because it was perfectly written. Yeah, there was a few minor nitpicks uh and whatnot um but of course you know no movie no series is you know basically perfect but it was very very good but before we get into that if this is your first time here on my channel thank you guys for coming to spend a little bit of time with me if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button as well as if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot with gaining recognition for anime fans as well as uh, tokusatsu fans just like yourselves so with that being said the Tengo Kaiju, as it's pretty much uh properly named is a continuation from the Gokaiga series. Now, to to basically uh, put it, if you guys haven't uh, seen Gokaiga, uh like since it uh, last aired, uh, think 2013, 2014, at the end of the series, all six Gokaijas, they basically uh, departed Earth um, to, you know, basically do their thing, right? So the story picks up uh, about I was I think it, I think it said four years, um, yeah, about four years after uh, the series ended, and so with the premise of the movie, come to find out that there was actually a I don't know if these particular bad guys like they were uh, like a uh, like an alien pirate uh group it was about three of them yeah it was like three of them uh three or four actually and i don't recall if they mentioned that they were uh like remnants of the zinyak uh empire or they were just you know rogue aliens and stuff that was basically you know kind of trying to take over uh different planets and stuff like that so their whole point was to collect all the ranger keys that was you know left on earth so that they can basically you know have those powers to take over the galaxy and what they did was they were basically disguising themselves as humans had uh you know their own you know quote unquote company and they what they were doing was they had a, a full converse, uh, competition and they were using the ranger keys to basically manifest uh, previous Sentai members uh, to fight. And so it was kind of like a contest, like a, uh, like a, uh, a fighting derby or something like that. And so Guy, he called it Guy, was, I don't, I would say he was more like a spokesman for uh, the competition. He wasn't actually working for them, but we, see you know what's been going on with him and then we also uh catch like different glimpses of where the gokaijers have been at since uh you know the series last ended and so long story short uh the gokai galleon that was basically the gokaijers uh home base as well as their main mecca had basically was destroyed in a sense well, well not in a sense but yeah it was destroyed and so Marvelous comes back to Earth. And, you know, the way that they had it set up was like, okay, the Gokaijus disbanded. Marvelous is up to something. Um, and so all the other Gokaijus are not, they know what he's up to, so they don't really approve of it, right? And so we had, now, we had a lot of cameos 
Like, I literally fanboyed when I saw Bosco's actor come back and he didn't reprise his role, but during the, uh, the different uh, competitions, you had two announcers. You had Bosco's actor, that was one of the uh, announcers, but then you also had the actor that played uh, Tsubasa Majiello in Maji Ranger, as well as Jin from Goldbusters uh, Beat Buster. And what I what I loved and stuff was that during one of the competitions, you have Maji Yellow as well as Beat Buster. Uh, I forgot exactly which Sentai member uh, the two uh, manifested Ranger Keys were fighting, but they both lost at the same time. And Tsubasa's actor got sad and was like, you know, I don't know why, but I'm sad that the, the two of them lost at the same time. So I was like, okay, I see what y'all were doing with that. But then also we had the uh, the singer of the Gokaiju theme basically uh, in the movie, as well as I don't know her name, but she was from, uh, she's the actress from uh, Kamen Rider of Forza or Forza, however you want to pronounce it. But then we also had the actor from Kamen Rider Gaim who was Kamen Rider Bravo. And so I loved how uh, basically they were, you know, manipulating the earthlings um, into, you know, thinking that, hey, look, you know, bet your money, you know, gamble, you know, everything is all uh, fun and games. But then we also had one more distinct uh, cameo to which I'll get into in a second. And so everything basically kind of the way that they did the movie at first was, you know, everything was kind of confusing. And so come to find out that the way everything was basically set up, uh, you know, you kind of started putting two and two together. And so we had uh, Joe Gokai Blue that was standing around the wreckage of the Gokai Galleon. It made it seem like he was the one that basically destroyed Gokai Galleon. But me personally, it's like I knew he didn't do it, but something was going on. And so he was kind of um, evaluating everything to figure out, okay, what all happened here? And so Marvelous, uh, you know, basically set up the entire plan because he knew what was going on with this uh, so-called company. And so come to find out that the Gokaijus, they didn't break up. They were in on it the entire time. Um, I love how uh, I'm uh, Gokai Pink. She went to Planet Crystallia from the Kira Major series to basically get a particular item. And so uh, Don, of course, you know, Gokai Green was all, uh, you know, pretty much being, you know, Don and stuff. And so wind up being, uh, you know, in with the, uh, with the company and stuff. And the other cameo was back in i believe it was episode i don't think it was episode two i think it was like episode three or four um correct me if i'm wrong in the comments uh below but in episode i'll say episode between two and four there was a child uh a schoolboy that wind up stealing marvelous mobile as well as uh the shinken red ranger key and so you wind up transforming into uh Shinken Red or Shinken Lecto and basically got his ass whooped like within like the first two three minutes and stuff but here it is 10 years later and he's all grown up and he was working for said company and of course he didn't know what all was actually going on and so he wind up you know kind of losing faith in humanity and back when in the episode of the series marvelous acts you know is this planet worth saving and he said yes yes it is and stuff and so when he lost faith in humanity after coming to find out that everybody you know was being gypped and stuff after luca wind up uh getting the particular item from crystallia and exposing everybody he asked what is humanity even worth saving and so Marvelous basically looked and was like, yes, 
Yes, yes it is. Mind you, I'm paraphrasing. And so we got uh, some flashbacks of what actually happened. Uh, come to find out Marvelous lost his left eye. And so that's why he was wearing uh, an eye patch. And I can, you know, and pretty much for the sake of timing for this video, I'm not gonna go into extreme detail. So I guess uh, just minor uh, spoilers for this movie, but I just loved everything about it. It wasn't perfectly written, but it was, it was well written. Let's just put it like that. Compared to all of the other 10, year, uh, 10 years later, movies that the uh that they did for certain sentai seasons Tin Gokaija was actually the better written of the previous ones and I love all the different cameos I love all the callbacks the easter eggs every like literally everything about it and now mind you if I can sit and talk about this movie in extreme detail we're gonna sit and talk about this for like hours on end <laughs> <laughs> like seriously um i wound up watching it uh on kiss asian and so if you guys haven't seen it just yet i'll say you know whatever streaming service uh you guys are comfortable with using um just go check it out it is it is a phenomenal phenomenal movie and i just love everything about it i love the ending credits uh, they wind up incorporating all the uh, different Sentai seasons that came after Go Kaiju into the ending theme. Uh, and so you saw like a few uh, backstage, uh, you know, scenes and stuff like that with the entire cast. I just, I just loved every, everything about it. And I, if I basically was to rate it on a scale out of one to 10, I would give it an eight and a half. That, that's how that's how well written it was and so now of course you know like i mentioned earlier it you know it wasn't perfectly written there were you know a few uh like little loopholes as well as nitpicks and stuff but um most likely later i will do another video going into even greater detail about it um but if you guys want a good detailed uh review about the movie uh japanime He's one of my favorite YouTubers. I'll put a link down uh, in the description below so that you guys go check his channel out as well as watch his review uh, for Tingo Kaiger. And so like, I I was just blown away. I loved every, everything about it. Um, but yeah, that, that was, I guess you could say my take in my opinion uh, on the movie. So I'm going to end this video here and so I just want to thank you guys again for coming out uh, and, you know, spending a little bit of time with me. Um, and one thing I also do want to tell you guys is that if you guys haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do subscribe. I've looked on my channel and seen that I've gotten a lot of views for my channel, but yet the views for my channel is basically a lot higher than my actual subscriptions. So if you guys do enjoy the content that I post on my channel, feel free to subscribe. It's free to charge. You, you ain't gotta do anything besides just hit that subscribe button. And if you do like my content as well as this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then also hit that notification bell so when I post content just like this every week, you guys will be the first to know. So this has been your boy Squid, and I will see you guys next week.